Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in Great Wall Entrance 3. Where we've earned ice darts. And, uh. Ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness, that was just instinct. I didn't even see that guy. Er, check a look. Um... Let's check this side out. Excuse me. Huh, I thought that was a wooden frame back there. The light incline means I can't grab the edge. Uh, oh. Oh, I hate this. You know, I thought that part of that puzzle over there was going to be that, oh, you know, the, uh, the fire armadillo was going to try to melt the, uh, the block you're standing on. I guess he's just there for this part, really. You have served your purpose well. Thank you, my tiny friend. Someone must have really liked the bomb chews from Ocarina of Time. Which I guess, given that that game came out 21 years ago, I will have to explain. Just in case. Um, if you're not familiar with Ocarina of Time, uh, you get bombs, which are just, you know, explosives you can place on the ground. But you also get bomb chews, which are these little mouse-shaped devices which travel straight forward in a line on the ground before exploding. And their uh, signature thing was that they could also... Yes, that is before the gate. They could also... If they run into a wall, they will just immediately do a 90-degree turn up that wall and just keep going as if gravity wasn't a concern. Hug the side so I don't accidentally impale myself on the top like an idiot. And once again, you know, props to them for the uh, spike sticking at the top. I mentioned the bomb chews only in that... You know, there were little things shaped like animals, and... Uh, someone really seems to have taken that idea to heart here. 2003, I suppose that was still within the window of when, uh, Pokemon is at its, uh, you know, initial peak. I think that was around the time the, uh, remakes of, uh, well, the Fire Red and Leaf Green came out. I don't know, just rambling to myself now. Hey. Hey, fuckface, over here. Oh, goddammit. How come you know where I am at all times and he doesn't? No! That's right, over here.
Hurry, god damn it. It's too late. I've done the thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought I only had seven capture beetles. Must have had the one lined up with something in the background. <laughs> fuck you! It's like I said at that other place. Uh, for... You know, an, an enemy that they basically use as a vital piece of inventory uh, equipment. I don't know why I worded it like that. The, uh, fire armadillos are really annoying in a fight. I'm not sure they can be. They can be hurt when they're on fire like that. It's funny, I could have sworn I used three. around in front of my eyes. That's very annoying. I think I have the rat, uh, the spike spider. Uh -huh. Not sure what the point of any of that was. three of those over there. Didn't I start with ten? Hmm. This is where, like, four enemies are supposed to come out so I can freeze them. I mean, is that a target? I don't even remember if that's a thing. How about an enemy that doesn't catch on fire, you guys? I'm just saying. That would be cool, too. What am I doing? I have a bunch of those. I don't need to, like, put the bowl in a china shop thing. Or the... Why did I say that? The, uh... The matador thing. I can just murder you and be on my way. Except that there's nothing here to set on fire, which is weird. So does this just summon those guys, or... Does it, like, depend on where I'm standing? No, it's just those guys. Fuck me, you guys are annoying. Ah! It's just that they're so... You know, vital a tool, I get impatient waiting for them to do their stupid fire move. 
Alright, fuck it. Can we burn the door? Is that how it works? No. It would already be on fire. Does the ice thing work on them? So we only need to do standard darts. I didn't think it would, but okay. Oh, this is so much better than just lugging the thing around. No lollygagging, we need, uh... Oops. Need to hurry. I don't know if these things thaw out eventually, but, uh... I don't want to be here when they do. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing wrong. Oh! It's already lit up, so I guess I just do this with myself. But does it close and I get off, is the question. No. Just look around in case there's like a penis drawn on the ceiling or something funny like that. Nope. Later, guys. Thanks. Don't forget to write, you assholes. <laughs> oh, that was rude. Thank you for your help with the puzzle. Uh... I didn't think it was that far away. Is my health looking? Um, not great. Sorry about that. I needed to sneeze. Um... I was like, yes, pushing the... Oh god, don't veer off the little t edge there. And push the, uh, third... I don't know, it's not a button. I used to put the, the third glyph key in place. Let's get you over here. Okay, great. Freeze, motherfucker! I find it interesting that you seem to be able to push these ones from any angle you like. Oh, all right. What the fuck? Huh. Well, I've got that, at least. Time. Uh, yeah, okay. I remember a time when one uh, money beetle coming out of a jar would not have been that disappointing. But now I've seen the heady heights of four hundred dollar dues. I find it funny that I don't think I've ever seen an asp outside of the jars. Okay. 
Uh, oh, use up in the corner. Use the magical teleport? Oh, you know! Let's see if this is a cutscene. It is a cutscene. Never mind. I'll mind later. Um... I looked it up, and, uh... It seems that... Oh, God. Ahem. It seems that, uh... We have officially passed the spot with the infamous game-breaking bug. The, uh, save point in question. I mean, I, you know, I, again, I had heard that the... That they fixed that for the Steam version of this game, but it's still nice to hear, you know, reassuring. Um... As I understand it, that bit is in, uh... Your second time around as the mummy. You know, when you're sneaking around in the corridors and, uh... You overhear Set and what's-her-name having a sinister conversation by the fireplace. I think that's the first time you get to use the, uh... Amulet of Invisibility. Oh. Uh, no, just bring it out and then do this. I was hoping for a light bridge, but you know, I guess... You know, I am going to wait, because I want to see if I can get some health from this. I cannot. I don't think I've actually used this as a shield more than a couple of times. Mostly it's for my strange need... Oh. To, uh, not be running around with a sword in my hand at certain times. I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Hello? Are you a monster? Oh, you're not. Sorry, I just kind of assumed. My bad. Welcome to Uruk Island, Sphinx. My friend Imhotep told me you would be arriving. Oh, jeez, now I feel bad. I know that you are seeking the sacred crown of Uruk, which is being held by the deadly Geb Queen. Didn't they mention that in the, uh... In the, uh, the museum? I thought that was, like, some kind of monster. There was, yeah, there was, like, a Geb worker or something in there, and it's this giant dude. But first, you must overcome a test of mind and body, wisdom and ability. If you are successful, it will mean that you are prepared to overcome the mighty power of the Geb Queen. But should you fail, a grim fate awaits you in the temple beyond those doors. Awesome. Of course I do! I'm the good guy! Very well, then, enter the temple. If you can escape, bring me what you find. Oh, I see, yes. It's not actually on, it's just there. Very well, then. As long as the door isn't closed behind me... God damn it. That means I have to finish this bit before I can, uh, call it a session. Okay. That's what's not one of these. Oh. 
Help! Help! Help me, sir! Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. I'm just paranoid of everyone today. Goddamn. Wait, is that... This Have we met any humans? Yeah, I guess there were some in the town, weren't there? Sir, a demonic soul has kidnapped my little brothers and I. Please help us get us out. Please help us get out of this devilish temple. Oh, okay. And he just walks away without saying anything because he's a silent protagonist. It, um. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. There's the fucking timer. Let's see if we can do this Temple of Challenges in, uh... Two more episodes. Oh my god, really? Oh hell! Malar, you have slain me. Yeesh. Oh good, those assholes again. You're not someone's little brother. You're just an asshole. With no sense of self-preservation. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. When we uh, continue exploring this temple and try not to be incinerated. As a general rule, I'd like to avoid that. Later.